Hey, Gratuitous here. In this video, I want to talk about how I set up the Pro L2 by FabFilter with my M Audio Oxygen Pro FL Studio template for this hands on mixing and the drum pad workflow experience. Okay. All right. So, Pro L2, super powerful limiter. We can push it super loud, very, very transparent, and we can get our hands on mixing. So, let me break down how I've set it up. Okay. All right. So, the first slider here is our volume. Right? This is what we can push up and then we can get more limiting. We have our off and on again. So again, that's how I've set up all of these mixing plugins. We have volume and off and on. The next one is, um, you can see here, the one to one. So this is actually super powerful to have enabled when you're testing because what happens when you're mastering music and just in audio in general, you always want a fair volume comparison. So if I'm increasing my volume, what's happening is things are starting to get louder and they might be limiting more, but we're not really able to hear it accurately. And so the Pro L2 gives us a feature of this one-to-one -one, and I have this set up for you off of the slider right here. And so in other words, what's happening is as we are increasing our volume and getting more limiting, the Pro L2 is trying to compensate for that volume. So we're gonna get a fair volume comparison and we can accurately, or at least more accurately hear the limiting happening. And then again, we can turn off and on that plugin to be able to hear that this is the limited version and then the normal version. The next one is the style of limiting. So you can see there's different styles. I have that set up here on a slider, just like I had that on the Pro C2, okay? The next one allows us to hear what is actually being limited only. So in other words, when we have our audio, the audio goes over that threshold of the limiter, we're able to hear what's being limited only. So we're not actually listening to the music, we're listening to what's being limited. And we're able to hear that with this slider, okay? You can see it's going red right there. The next one does oversampling. So if you're pushing your master really loud, you know, you can play with some oversampling and maybe reduce the distortion that's happening. So there is more options for your uh, oversampling, but I just have this on, on X8, okay? All right, so um, that is it for these sliders. Let me just break that down again. So again, this one here is the gain. So pushing up how much limiting we, we want to happen. This one is off and on, and you, you can just see it right here. Okay, off and on. The next one is able to hear at a fair volume comparison what's act, um, what is actually limiting. And then we have um, the style of limiting. And then we have what's actually being limited only. So we're only hearing what goes over that threshold. And a lot of times it sounds really spiky, but we can start hearing that, oh, do you know what? We're actually limiting that drum pretty hard, okay? And then uh, this one is the oversampling. So that's it for the sliders. For the knobs, the first two is the attack and the release. The next one is the look ahead. The look ahead, if it's way at zero, your master will be able to be louder, but you risk distortion. The next one is the transients. So this one is the attack of the transients, you know, kind of linking them together. A lot of times you want to kind of have that at least probably kind of like 75 and up. And then also your release. All right, so let me just give you an example of hands on mixing nice and quick, okay? So let's just hit play here. I'm going to enable the one-to-one. -one. So if any limiting happening, um, we're going to kind of hear a fair volume comparison. So let's crank this up for lots of limiting. So let's turn off Pro L2 with this slider right here. So this is no limiting and Pro L2 is totally disabled. When I enable it, we have our limiting happening, but it's kind of like, you know, Pro L2 is trying to do a fair volume comparison for us. We can also, so we are hearing what's actually being limited. So maybe, you know, pushing a little bit hard. So we can pull it back a little bit. So you can see right here, you know, just this slider here. And again, we can start adjusting our attack and our release settings. Okay, so let's disable that. All right, so let's say we like it where it is. Now this is where the drum pad workflow comes into play. Being able to A and B between two different styles of this limiter, all off of our drum pad. So I'm going to save the state with this purple button. Okay, now I can change the style of limiting with this slider number seven right here. Or sorry, uh, this one right here, okay? So before I was on modern, let's say I want transparent. Maybe I wanna push it a little bit louder. 
right? So we can flip in between before and after. Yes, it's gonna be a little bit louder, but again, you can see that we can quickly change our state. So we can flip it over. And I'm also going to enable the one-to-one -one here as well. This is gonna be hopefully a fair volume comparison when I flip states. Now there is just a little bit of a glitch there when we go from A to B, that kind of sucks. It would be nice if it was just always a smooth transition. But sometimes that has to do with um, some of these, I know with Pro L2, if I load this up, you come here to the audio and then, you know, each plugin has its own latency and some plugins use more latency than others. And so when I flip between these two states, you can see that there is a little bit of different latency and that can also have uh, a part to play. So if we go to something like transparent, um, you can see that there's very, very low latency, right? So it's like 84 milliseconds, but we go to something like the modern style and it's much more latency. So let's try to go for modern. Let's try to go for like dynamic because I think the first four are from Pro L1 and then the other four are from Pro L2. Let's go between punchy and transparent and let's see if it does the glitch sound. So I have to flip it. Yeah, we can hear the glitch a little bit. Okay, but there you guys go. So that is how I have set up the Pro L2 for this hands-on mixing in FL Studio based off of my M Audio Oxygen Pro FL Studio template. This could be purchased at itsgratuitous.com. If you have any questions, you can send me an email at hi at itsgratuitous.com. Hope you enjoy your M Audio Oxygen Pro FL Studio experience.